hi everyone welcome back to another video in this video we are going to be learning how to add lottie animations inside our flutter application we all know that adding animations can make our app look more interesting and engaging so we are going to be learning how we can add such kind of interesting engaging animations and we'll be completing all of this using the lottie package that allows us to use lottie animations now you all might be wondering what the term lottie means uh, it might be a new term for you all so it is nothing but a file format for storing vector graphics animation and it is more lighter than png so let's start adding lottie animations inside our flutter application first we need to create a new flutter application so you can either create a new flutter application or you can use an existing application so let us create a new app for this example let's open it in vs code For adding Lottie animations, we'll be requiring the Lottie package. So visit pub.dev and search for Lottie. This is the name of the package. Open your VS Code and from here open the terminal and type flutter pub add Lottie. Now our Lottie dependency has been added. Now if we go by the documentation, you will find that we can use Lottie files from our assets or from a network URL or as a zip file. First let us learn how to load it from an asset. So for loading an asset, we need to first mention assets inside our pubsit.yaml file. So let's name the folder as Lottie and here we need to also create a folder. Let's name it as Lottie and now let's save it. So now we can add Lottie files inside this. Now for using Lottie files, you just need to do a internet search and from there you will get several websites where you can download free Lottie files. Let's select the first option and here if you search for some item like suppose if you are willing to get this animation just click on the download link from here and grab the animation. You can also grab the URL that it's providing. Now I have downloaded some Lottie JSON files. Just select all of this and drag and drop inside your VS code. And we need to drag it inside the Lottie folder that we have created. And now we are going to be accessing all this file from this folder. So first we need to remove the demo home page. And here we will create our own stateful widget. It will be our home page. You will be using that so we are mainly building a very simple UI you will have a scaffold and will have an app bar with a title of text Lottie animations we need to remove this const and here inside scaffold body we'll have a column and main axis alignment will be main axis alignment dot center here we'll be creating three elevated buttons first one will be a text of example one rest will be two and three we to also wrap this with the center widget Now for our first example, 
will be learning how to use Lottie animation. So let's create a new file. Let's name it as example one dot dot. Just create a stateful widget. Name it as example one. Here we'll be having a scaffold, and inside scaffold body, we'll have a column. First, here we'll have childrens. The text will be Lottie from asset file. And another will be Lottie from network file. We can simply use Lottie.assets and pass the JSON file where it's located. Let's just first link it. When we press the example one button, we should be navigated to the example one page. So now if we click here, this is our example one UI. Here if we use lottie.asset and we need to pass the file path, if we use the search.json, we need to pass the path, it was inside lottie slash search.json. So this is how our animation is going to look like. We can also pass height and width like height for 200 and width also 200 so that will be like this and now if you want to use Lottie from a network asset then we can use Lottie.network and here we need to pass the URL for that we can copy the asset link from here and just paste it and now if we save it you'll find that this is also working we can also pass the height width property to this one like this and now both will be similar this is how it will work for asset file and network file it will be running the lottie animation for infinite time if we don't want to run this for infinite time then in that case we can add a controller to it. So let's learn in the second example how we can add a controller to it. So now let's work on our ex second example. So let, we'll be naming it as example2 dot dot. This time we'll be creating a flutter widget with animation controller because we want to control the animation here. So let's name it as example2. Here we are having a late animation controller and we are also extending the state with single ticker provider state mixing. So it's mainly it will allow us to create animation controllers. In our init state we are assigning it the animation controller to the controller and when we are disposing we are also disposing the controller. So here, here since you will find that we are running the animation for infinite number of times now it will keep running and running it will not be stopped we are not having any controls for adding controls what we can do here we can use the same lottie.network we will have a scaffold here and inside body we can paste that import lottie and we also need to push this to our example 2 page now if we go back and press example 2 then we'll find this animation what we are willing to do we are going to be controlling this animation for controlling this animation let's not use height and width and now here it accepts a controller property so we can pass controller as our underscore controller that we have and now you will find that it's not showing anything for starting the animation, we need to use the value controller.forward. So there are several properties that we can supply with the controller. Like controller.forward, controller.reverse, controller.stop and much more. Suppose when we open this widget, we want the animation to run only once. In that case, what we are going to do, inside our init state, we'll call controller.forward. And this will start the animation from zero. So if we save this, 
and go back and visit the widget again here it's asking us to add a duration so here the animation was having a duration of 3 seconds we can pass a duration here like duration will be duration seconds will be 3 and now if we restart and now the animation only ran once like if we increase the duration to somewhat like 10 seconds when we visit this page you will find the animation is happening very slowly so now with this we can simply create this kind of animation like if we are willing to show success then we'll show this animation and after that we can show a button that uh, it's a success so we can do that like this we need to wrap this with a column and after our animation we'll have a text after our animation is shown we can click we can show the text button click here to go back you can also add some styling text style font size let's make it 20 so let's wrap it with an elevated button and on plus we'll use navigator dot pop let's use a text button and when we press this, we'll go back. We need to also use main axis alignment to main axis alignment dot center. And now, when we visit this page, this will run for once and then it will show us the back button. So, if we want to wait until we show the back button, in that case, we need to create one more variable. This will be our boolean as shown. We'll set it to false. And here, if it's shown, in that case, we'll show the text button. Otherwise, we'll show the size box of height. Let's make it 55. Our animation will mainly get completed after 3 seconds. So, we can use future dot delay. Wait for 3 seconds. And then, we can change the is shown property to true and we need to also set the state so now if we run the, the animation will run first and then after three seconds it will show us the option to go back now for our third example we'll be creating one more file Let's name it as example three dot dot. It will be a Flutter widget with animation controller. Let's name it as example three. The UI will be similar. You will first will have a scaffold, then we'll have a body of column. Main axis alignment will be main axis alignment dot center, and it will have children's. Here we are going to be using. Now we need to also link this with our main dot dot file. So when we press this button, we should be navigated to our example 3 page. So now if we press this button, we are getting redirected to our example 3 page. Here, first we'll have a lottie.asset. We'll use the asset light.json so it is inside our lottie folder. File, file name is light.json. Now this is how the lottie animation will look like but we want to make it look like like and dislike so for that here we'll assign the controller to it controller will be our animation controller so that we can control the animation we will also provide some height and width animation is not getting covered so we'll use fit to box fit dot contain it will cover the whole area let's also make it in center Here we'll create a variable bool is light. We'll set it to false. And here we also need to set the duration. So for this, let's set the duration as duration. Seconds will be 2 seconds. So now, when we press this column widget, it should start the animation. 
and when we press it again, it should reverse the animation. So in this case, we'll having both the animation for like and dislike. So just wrap it with the gesture detector on tap. We'll first we'll convert our is like to true. So if it's false, then it should be changed to the other value. If it's false, it will be changed to true. If it's true, it will change before it will be changed to false. So here, if it's true, in that case, we should start the animation. So here we'll use controller dot forward because it was false and we are converting it to true first and then we are starting the animation. So if we press it now, you will find that the animation is happening. Here you will find that the animation is working, but here we are not changing the state. We also need to set our state. If it's true, then in that case we are starting the animation. Else, if it's false, we should reverse the animation. So let's use reverse. Now let's see, when we press this button, it's showing us the like animation and when we press it back, it's showing us the reverse animation. When we are pressing this, it's starting from 0 and ending to 100% and when we are reversing, it's starting from 100 and ending to 0. So suppose we only want to start it from 20% and end it to 0. In that case, we can pass the from and we can set that just start from 20% and end to 0. Now you'll notice the change that it's showing us the full animation from start to end but it's only showing us the end 20 to 0 percent when we are reversing it. Now it's okay, we can also add a text like if is liked in that case means we have already liked it in that case we can show it to unlike else we can show it to like also add some font styling you also need to add some styling for that let's use text type use font weight to somewhat 24 font weight to w600 and font size to 24 also let's add a color of colors dot gray dot shade 600 now if we press this it's showing us the option to unlike it and when we press this again it's showing us the option to like so now in this way we have created a very simple good looking animation now i hope that you will be able to add lotting animations inside your flutter application so that's all